Welcome back to my channel, guys. My name is Michelle Sonor with Beauty by Michelle Sonor. I'm a salon owner and stylist, and today I am doing part three of my dirty hair series. So, my hair is dirty today. I did two other styles. If you haven't seen them, go back and watch them because they're super cute. But this one comes to you for a special request that I received. Um, it is for a top knot. So I'm going to start by brushing through my hair. Little tip while I'm doing this is to brush from the bottom up. And this is just to help detangle a little bit. Awesome. So once you're all brushed, then you're gonna use dry shampoo. This is Batiste in Divine Dark. And this is gonna help to give you some extra texture. Okay, then I just like to use my fingers um, and just kind of brush out the little bumps, but I like to have some bumps because then it doesn't look too put together. So I'm gonna put this all the way up on the top of my head. And then what I actually like to do is just um, twist it like this and just kind of wrap it around. And then I will take my hair tie and I'll wrap it around that, like twice. Perfect. I'll turn around so you guys can kind of see that. I will go in the mirror and just kind of piece this out a little bit. Um, no real rhyme or reason, just kind of picking it out so it looks a little more messy. And then I will take my bobby pins and I will just kind of secure them at the base here so that it stays in place a little bit better. And I just kind of use these bobby pins to like shape and and pin and tape and pin. Okay, so now that your top knot is all secured into place, I like to pick out these little pieces by my ears to give it a little more of a lived in feel. And then I also will pick apart at my root area so that I can get a little more lift there as well. Okay, and one of my main tricks to help make your top knot look like professional and trendy and like you really put a lot of work into it is actually to put earrings on. So I like to do just a little dangly earring and it just takes it from looking super casual to really done up. And then I'll just kind of um, use my dry, Kenra Dry Texture Spray and I'll spray it and get it kind of secured in place. But I just feel like the earrings always just bring it to life and just make it look super, super girly. And then I always use a lip color too. So whenever my hair is kind of like dumbed down a little bit, I definitely always wear a lip color. This one is Creaming Your Coffee by MAC, which is what I'm wearing right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little top knot tutorial. It takes like two seconds to do. Can bring your look from dirty to fabulous in just a few seconds. So if you guys liked it, please like, subscribe, follow all my social media channels, which you will see on the next slide. And thank you guys again, and I'll see you on the next one.